Breaking news this hour, crews are searching for at least five people after an explosion leveled a factory in Pennsylvania. Video showing the moment of the explosion yesterday. It comes to us from WTXF in Philadelphia. Two people dead, several others hurt in that blast that was so powerful, it pushed another building forward by several feet. Let's go to NBC's George Solis, who's in West Reading, Pennsylvania for us. George, do we know what caused this explosion? Yeah, Alex, it's one of the big questions being asked right now, what may have caused that explosion? If you want to play that video again, you really see the dramatic nature of this blast. So forceful, as you said, it pushed that building at least four feet forward right next to it. Right now, this is an ongoing search and cleanup effort. Officials saying two people unfortunately succumbed to, to, to this blast and five others presumably missing underneath that rubble. If we can, I want to show you a little bit of some of that search going on. We know there's specialized equipment. We know they're using specially trained dogs to search through that rubble. We don't want to get too close because, again, this is an active search investigation happening right now. There is just a big field of debris out there. There's also a large truck that they are moving some of this debris onto right now. Now, there was some discrepancies a little bit earlier in the day as far as the number of deceased, but officials making it clear that it's two people that have died and five still missing. One thing they do want to highlight, overnight they were able to successfully pull one person out of this rubble, and that's really remarkable when you think about the sheer magnitude of this blast. And so this is still very much a search effort. And this is also a twofold tragedy for many people in this community. Apart from the loss of life, the R.M. Palmer Chocolate Factory has been in this community for decades. It has been passed down as far as generations of, of families and workers and employees. So to lose this building really hurts to this community. Um, and so we are going to stay on this scene and, and hopefully bring you more updates as far as uh, the search efforts continuing here on the ground, Alex.